Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I thought I would show you how to do my Winnie the Pooh. Um, and so we're going to do a tutorial on him. As you can see, with one I have the little honey pot, the other one I don't. Um, it is going to be a hook only design and I do use a 2.75 millimeter and this is a, a clover um, soft touch and it's a size 2.75 as I said or C is the other size that you might want to mention. The two colors that I'm using, I'm actually using, this is a neon orange I believe, I thought it was mango but it's actually neon orange. I'm also using um, if, if you choose to use beads, you can use these little toy uh, safety eyes for the mouth. There's also little safety noses that you can get. These are a 9mm safety nose, which is quite cute. A couple of black bands for the, for the mouth. I'm using red for his shirt. For the um, little um, honeypot, I used a couple of flesh tone, actually, and some brown. And then you're also going to need some stuffing, stuffing to stuff him with. I use the 100% polyfill. I find that quite good. Uh, the other thing that you're going to need is a stitch marker of sorts. Now, you can use a C-clip, an S-clip, a stitch marker. Uh, you can use a safety, uh, you know, a paper clip even, if you want to just unravel a paper clip a bit. That works as well. But uh, they're handy to have. Uh, on standby. I'm going to use my loom just to show you how to do the magic ring because I find that using a loom to actually show you is a lot easier than not. So we're going to start with our neon orange and our loom and we'll do our first magic ring. Now the magic ring for the head has six stitches in it. So there's four, five and six and we'll do one for our actual little loop here on our loom so take a single wrap it once and twice so you end up having three little loops you're going to take your first of the six bands poke your hook through draw back and reclaim and then one over the other in a little slip knot i'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see me a little clearer now if you have not done loomy groomy as we're calling it before I would highly recommend watching my loomy groomy guide for beginners first it will make all of this seem so much clearer one over the other to join reclaim one over the other and join reclaim one over the other and join and one more time and join and take that off your loom I'm going to put my loom over to the other side spread these out so that they're evenly spaced okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to just continue. In some of these, you would just sort of do a slip stitch here to join these together. I'm not doing that. I'm going to be working in a spiral. So we have our first stitch, second stitch, third stitch, fourth stitch, fifth stitch. stitch. My sixth stitch is on my hook, okay? I'm going to push my hook through this first stitch, take a single band, pull it through, and I'm going to do a single crochet. So I reclaim... I take the side closest to me up and over and then I join them together and this is the stitch that I'm going to put my stitch marker on that indicates where we start and where we finish now we are going to do an increase in each of these six stitches so that was my first stitch in that I'm going to go back through that first stitch and do another pull it through over the top and join. I now move to my second stitch, push my hook through and I will do two single crochets in this stitch. So here's my first and join and then back through that second stitch and do my second and join. Move around to the third stitch, we're going to do two in here as well. So this increases the um, original six stitches that we had to 12 stitches. And 
join, move to my fourth stitch, first single crochet, and back through that fourth stitch to do my second single crochet. Here's my fifth stitch. Back for my second one in the fifth stitch. Here's my sixth stitch. My first single crochet and back through for a second. So now if we count, here's our first stitch here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 is on my hook. So push your hook through that first stitch again and we're going to do another single crochet. Pull it through, reclaim, one over the other and join like so. Take your stitch marker out and put it on that new stitch. Now what we're going to do is an increase and a single crochet. So that was my first single crochet. So I start doing an increase right here, which is a single crochet and join. Oops, join. And then another single crochet in that stitch and join. And then in this second stitch, a single crochet by itself. And then in this third one, the increase. So the two single crochets. Now, as you can see, I'm moving this over with my fingernails so that you can see it. As you get a little bit faster, you end up twisting your hook like this and it makes it a little faster but if you're not at that stage yet don't worry about it so now we'll do two in here there's one let's go back through for the second a single in this one two in this one single two single two and back to the beginning we'll do a single crochet and move our stitch marker like that so now if you have a look here there's our magic ring that we did in the middle here's our first round around it here's our second round around it so we're now on round three and that's going to be one, two, three, a couple, <laughs> at least five or six, maybe even seven rounds of single crochet. So all we're going to do is go through the first and do a single crochet through the second, do a single crochet through the third do a single crochet and we're just going to keep doing that now we're going to do five rounds of that so what I do is one two three four I've already started five so I'm not going to put a fifth one here every time I start a new round I take one from this little pile here so that I know what round I'm on I say we're going to do five we might be doing a little bit more I'll see how how it looks as we get closer um, and when I can count properly but let's uh, let's keep going with our single crochets in 
in my original pattern I had us doing a decrease after the fifth but uh, I was me messing around with it last night and made the head and Izzy looked at it and said that doesn't look like Pooh Bear he doesn't have a neck like that so we're adjusting on the fly <laughs> Children are our biggest critics, aren't they? They're the best ones. They all, they always tell the truth about stuff like this. Although I do have to laugh when I was uh, fiddling around trying to make a sully. I said to my husband, so what do you think I made? He said, an anteater? I was like, okay, back to the drawing board with this one. <laughs> So that was my first round. Let's go through here and take another one. And this will be our second round. Move your single your stitch marker. This is our second round of single crochet. I'm going to get back to you when we've done five together, okay? So I have now done my five more rounds of single crochet so we're up now to we've done seven rounds I'm going to take my hook out I've got my stitch marker here holding my little stitch so I know I'm safe now I'm going to put this at the back okay and squidge this in half there's my magic ring at the beginning and if you have a look you've got one two and one and two I'm going to go through and I'm going from this little one to here I'm going to grab a different colour band Actually, I won't. I'll grab the, the yellow or the orange or whatever it's called. I'm going to pull it through if I can. I'm going to put it on the end of my hook, a single band, and I want to pull it through from here to here. That's a bit tricky. There we go. With one hand. I'm just going to tie a little slip knot there, like that. Count down the same on the other side. One, two, and again, I'm coming from here through to here. I can stop squidging now. <laughs> and another single band that I'm just going to do like this. These are markers at this stage. These are going to tell me where I want my ears, or not my ears, but Pooh Bear's ears to be. So what I'm going to do, this is where I want one, this is where I want the other. You could have had it here as well if you, if you wanted it. Um, so it could have been angled slightly forward if you want. It's completely up to you how you choose to do it. I might have these marked here but actually go through this area here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a single band, I'm going to stretch it into a figure eight like that and I will go through the one in front here and the same one up the top. I'm going to pull that band through and reclaim. All right. Now what I'm going to do is Make sure I've got both sides of it. I don't feel that I do. Let me do that again. So I go through here, grab one side, pull it through. There's the other side. So I have four loops on my hook. That's what we need. Now, I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to pull it through. Okay and reclaim and I'm going to take this side closest to me up and over. Now I have to go back through those four loops. It's a tight squeeze but if you if you pull it like that you'll be able to get your hook through. Make sure you've got the four. Pull a single band through. Reclaim. One over the other and join. Again you're going to do this till you have five or six, depending on your bands. This is my third. This is my fourth. Back through again. This is my fifth. And can you see what's happening? We're starting to build this little ear 
up here. It's like we're doing a magic ring just on that band that we looped. I'm going to do another one. Go back in here. Pull it through. One over the other and join. So this is six. I'm probably, I think, going to do one more actually. Let's go for seven. Let's flick our bands at the monitor. <laughs> one over the other and join. I'm going to just stretch these out because I can see that this one is on top. So you need to stretch these out so that they're all in the right order. There we go. I'm going to take that little marker band away. There we are. Now, this little end that's on my hook, I'm going to take my hook out, poke my hook from the centre of the head, and where we joined, this was where we put the band originally, I'm going to push my hook up through there, grab that loop on my hook, like that, and pull it back. Okay, so there's a little ear. Flip this inside out. I'm going to find a spot probably so that it's not, I don't want it right here because it'll be loose. So I'm just going to sort of move down to here just so I have a little bit of um, distance so that it's not too loose. Take a single band, stretch it through and do a slip knot, a tight one. You're not going to see that so don't worry. But there we have our first little ear. Let's do the same this side. Now if you remember, I went through here and here, but I'm going actually doing it through here and here, through these two here. So take my single band, stretch it, figure eight, loop it on itself, and I have to pull it through and reclaim. And that is where, this is where I'm going to be working to pull my bands through. We did seven on the other side, so here's number one. I'm going to pull it through, reclaim, one over the other. I'm going to go... Now, in order for this to be the same, I'd really want to attach the other side into the middle here, which is going to be a bit tricky because I'm right-handed and I work this way from right to left. What I'm going to try and do is work from left to right so that I can attach it to the centre and I don't think it's really going to work. Maybe if I turn it around, let me turn it around. There we go. Pull this out so I can see that little hole that I have to go through which is here. one over the other and join. There's the little hole with the four loops. This is number three. This is number four. Going to stretch it so that it's a little bit more even. Four. Five. Six. My last one, seven. Now, if you want to do a magic ring on your loom and, and attach it that way, that's up to you. I just find this uh, it's a little easier. So, again, here's my loop. I need to attach it where we started, which in my case, again, was up through the center and through this spot here. Pull it back through. So there's my little ear. Find a spot on the inside that's not too close so that you don't make it too loose. Pull it through. 
pull your single band through and tie a slip knot. A nice tight one like that. Okay, so there's my two little ears. Now, if the shape of the head looks a bit odd, don't worry too much. Once you have your stuffing in there, it does look a little better. All right. And you can just sort of pull it into shape like so. Okay, so that was the ears. Now, um, let me show you. This was the original bear I made and his face doesn't really come in with a big neck and this is the second one I made and Izzy said no no he, he's got too much of a neck so I'm going to do the next round single crochet only so put my hook back through and we'll do round eight of single crochet put my hook through my next stitch Back to the beginning, push your hook through, we'll do a single crochet and move our stitch marker. Now we need to do his little snout and his eyes. So on our loom, I'm going to take this out, it's on my stitch marker, take a single band, wrap it around once and twice. We're going to do ten, so five six, seven, eight, nine, and one more is ten. Push your hook through and we will slide through and reclaim one over the other and budge around. Do this until you have all ten bands looped in. If you're doing this for the ears, you would just do six for the ears and pop them through the top of the head. Last one gets a bit crowded. Put it through and take off your loom. Go through the first stitch so that you have three of these loops on. Take a single band, pull it through all of them, and do a slip knot. Okay loom out the way. On the other side you can do the same thing. Push your hook through, grab a single band, and 
do a slip knot. This is how we're going to attach it to the front of his little face like this. Now you can just grab, um, I have these little noses that I bought, they're a nine millimeter and they're sort of like the safety eyes but these are little noses, I thought they were really cute. So you could get one of those like that and then the backing of it is here. So here we have our little safety nose attached like that. If you're going to use bands what I would do is take a single band, black, wrap it once, twice, three times, same with another one, once, twice, three times, slide onto a single yellow or neon orange, whatever they call it, slide these over, pretty them up like that and then you can just put this through, you have this in the middle here but just go through some of the little spots here with your hook, so one there and then go to the opposite side like here, grab the other one like that, pull it through, it's not going to look very good because I've got both of them on there, pretty this up a little bit like that and then tie with another another band, thread, thread this through Ugh, if they're not attached, there we go, thread a single band through and tie it in a slip knot and that's how you would have your little bat, your little nose made of bands, and that works quite well too. As you can see, I have that on this particular little bear, and I think that's quite cute. So I've done my little safety nose here, and I have my anchors on uh, three o'clock and nine o'clock. I'm going to put anchors on twelve o'clock, so at the top here, and also. At six o'clock. So there's one. Let's get the other one. There and there. Okay, so that's my little nose ready to put on when I'm ready. Not quite ready just yet. I'm going to position it where I think I would like it just so that I can work out where I would like my eyes. Now the eyes I'm using the safety toy eyes and I think I'm going to come down if this is my magic ring here one two three and four so I would like one eye to be about here I'm going to pull a black band through just so I can see where and the other one to be on the same side the opposite side at about the same spot which would be about here I think that's going to look about right. So I have my safety, my toy eyes. I've already pushed them through. Those are quite tricky little things to do. So I'm going to grab the, from working from the back side, I'm going to push through in this little space that I made here, like that. And I'm going to do the same on the other side, in the right spot. There we go. There and there. And then my nose is going to go about there. So what I'm going to do before I place my nose I'm doing my next round and for my next round I'm going to do, let's move these out the way, a single crochet and a decrease. So there's my first single crochet. I'm going to do two single crochets, I'm sorry single crochet and I'm doing a decrease so that's like this and pull through two single crochets let me I'm just going to redo that one the band was tight and I can see that it's going to look funny see how so we go through the front loop through the second loop pull your band through and through. Now I had it tight like this. You want to make sure that it's sort of even otherwise you'll get this big lump there. So a single crochet and a single crochet 
and a decrease. So first, first stitch, second stitch, take your band, pull it through. Like I said, you don't want it to be tight, so pull it through so it's even one over the other. Single crochet. Single crochet and a decrease. One and two, even it up and join. Single crochet. Single crochet and a decrease even it up a single crochet and back to the beginning with a single crochet move your stitch marker like so so now we're going to just, and I'm just evening this up, you can see how the stitches for the decrease, you just want to make it so that they are even because otherwise it looks quite nasty. Now we're going to do just a single crochet around. One, two, Now I'm at the back of the neck, I know I'm not here where my stitch marker is but I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to go through the next stitch and I'm going to grab a red band and do a slip stitch. So through and through so that I only have the red band on my hook and one over the other. And then I'll do a normal single crochet. Put that on here like that. Now I'm taking my stitch marker out. This is the time that we're going to work out where to put his little snout. And I think that it should probably go about here. So approximate where it where it's going to be. Hold it with your thumb. Working from the inside, grab a band and pull it through. And the same, grab a band and pull it through. Grab a band and try and pull it through. <laughs> I'll do that one again. There we go, pull it through. Grab a band and pull it through. Flip it so that you can see all four of the bands. Okay, and what we're going to do is just tie knots between two of them. So for these two, take it and Tie a knot, and these two take and tie 
tie a knot. Flip it back the right way. If you feel that the eyes need to move down, if you want them to be closer, that's completely up to you if you want to do that. I think they're going to be just perfect where they are. That's fine for what I'm looking for. But like I said, you can move them closer if you want. Now, we've started with our red. Push your hook back. We're going to do red for a few. Oops, there we go, single crochet. Single crochet. Now, to do his collar, I still want to have a few little spots at the front that are yellow. So what I'm going to do is go through this next one with a yellow. I'm going to do a slip stitch, so put it through and through the loop. And I just feel that when you do a slip stitch, it works out a little nicer for your changing of colours with the bands. And then I'm going to do a red as a slip stitch, so through all of them like that, so that it looks like there's this little gap of yellow there, or orange. And then I'm back to red. Through the slip stitch with a single crochet. And we're back to the beginning and we'll do a single crochet and move our stitch marker. Stretch this out a little bit so you can have a look. Okay, at this point we're going to do a single crochet increase, single crochet increase. Now we've done our single crochet, I'm going to have my stitch marker on here. We're going to do an increase. So, one, and back through that same spot for an increase. And then a single crochet. And then an increase. So there's one back through that same spot and two. A single crochet and an increase in this one. So it's a single. And now I'm going to change to yellow. Like that. And we're going to do a single in this next one. And an increase in this one. And a single. And I'm going to do it in red. And then an increase in this one. So one, back through that same spot. Two, a single. An increase. Single and increase single, and that's the last stitch. 
Now we're back to beginning, so push through, we're going to do a single. And switch our stitch marker to that stitch. I'm just going to take my hook out and gently stretch this out. And now we're going to do our next couple of rounds. And it's going to be, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six. The next six rounds are going to be red and they're going to be completely red. So even in these areas here, you're doing red. All right, so let's do one together and then we'll catch up. Now I've put six little bands here. I'm going to take my first one to indicate that I've now got five rounds left. And then I'll take them from the other spot. And just single crochet around your little bear's neck. Make sure you're getting both of these loops on your hook, both like that. And now we're going through the yellow. All right, so we're going to do five more rounds just like this. Just single crochet all the way around. When you get back to the end of it, we will meet up and do the next few steps. I should take one from this pile I'm on my next round. There we go. All right, so let's do another five of these and I'll catch you back up. So I'm at my last stitch before I'm done with this last round in red. I'm going to go through that last stitch here. I'm going to take it a yellow, drag it through as a slip stitch. So it's on there as well. And one over the other and move my stitch marker like that. Okay, now for yellow, what I'm going to do is a single crochet, single crochet, increase. So that was a single crochet. Single crochet and then an increase. So two single crochets in this one. So here's our first. And here is our second. And then single crochet. single crochet, increase, one, back through that same stitch, two, single crochet, single crochet, and an increase back through that same stitch for our second single crochet for our increase and single crochet single crochet increase Single 
crochet. Single crochet. And let's move our stitch marker. Oops. There we go. So I'm going to take that out and just stretch it around a little bit. Okay, so this is how he's looking at the minute. Now, if you want to do a mouth, you can actually add that now if you wanted to. So work out where you want it to start and finish. So you might want it to start here, draw it through, one over the other, in a little slip knot, and go through your next your next little bit, which might be here. Draw it through, one over the other, and then join. And go through your next spot here, pull it through. one over the other and join. So this might be how you want your little mouth to look. Then when you're ready to tie it off, go back down through that last hole like that. Draw your mouth through so that it's on the inside. And you'll need to poke things through. I can see it right here, okay. I'm going to find a little yellow band nearby far enough away that it'll be taut. Taking a yellow band, I'll just tie a little slip knot, nice and tight, and let go, pull it back out. Oh, I've lost an eye. Let's fix that. The lovely thing about the, the, um, the toy eyes, the little safety eyes, is they're so easy to put in and out when you need to. Might have it a bit lower. I'll move the other one as well. I think that might look a little better, like that. Scritch the nose a little bit. Now, the other thing that we have is um, his collar, and that's quite important to do his collar. So, to do his collar, we're going to use red bands. And the first thing we're going to do is work out where we're going to start. So I'm going to start, see where this little red band here is? I'm going to go through here and through the stitches there, like that. And I'm going to take a single red and I'm going to draw through like this. Make sure it's kind of even and then one over the other. All right, now I could, I could start down here even as well. It's trial and error where you want to start. So I could go through this little pair here and then capture that one. And then one over the other. That might look a little better. Then I'm gonna go through these two, draw a band through. Let's try that again, go through these two draw a band through, reclaim one over the other and join together. Go through these two. So I'm going through the two outside little stitches that you see where it joins the yellow and the red together. 
one over the other and join. Now I'm going through these two. Work your way around and join. Now these two. And it's a lot easier to do this when it's unstuffed. Okay, so now I'm here, I'm going to go through, let's see what I did here. I want to go through these two. And I think quite possibly this, this one here. It's a little bit lower than that one. I can see that it's a little... Maybe I'll just go through this one. Maybe that will work. Like that. Turn it around. Take your hook out and go through the other side. All right. Now this is the base for us to do his collar. As you can see, there's two sides. I'm going to poke my hook through the stitch here. There's two sides. You've got this side that's closest to you and the side that's closest to his head. Okay, we are going to go through the side that is closest to his head. So go through the side, just one loop. Take a band, pull it through, reclaim, and do your single crochet. So see on this one, you've got this side of the loop here and this side of the loop here. We're just going through the side that's closest to the head. All right, here we go again, right here. And this is how we're going to build up his collar. Just the loop, the one loop that is nearest to his head. Do you see how it's forming this little collar? And now I'm here. I have to say, with all the people that uh, know that I'm going to be doing Paddington and Pooh Bear and stuff like that, every time I post a tutorial, if your comment is just about doing something that I've told you I'll do when I have time, I'm going to just start ignoring them because I've told you I'm doing it and I'll do it when I've got time. <laughs> if I haven't done it, there's a reason for it. So if you just keep, keep, keep on asking, I'm just not going to do it. All right, so I'm at the beginning again. I'm going to take my little red 
loop that is here go through at the beginning there and pull it through turn inside out find another band on the inside and I'll loop that through and tie a slip knot like so and that is how I did his little collar okay sticks up a little bit which is good collars are supposed to do that if you don't like his how his mouth is do it a little different it's completely up to you I think all of their faces look a little different I think the eyes on this one are a bit skew if I'm gonna I'm going to try and change the eyes again might be a little bit better all right next we can do some arms and add those so I'm going to put him to one side and grab my loom again we're going to start with a single yellow band wrap it once and let's do that again wrap it once and twice and for the arm we're going to do a magic ring of six so put my hook through One, two, three, four, five. Six. Now I'm doing one of these, you're going to need to do two. Move my hook out the way, spread these around so that they're evenly spaced. Now, we're going to do a single crochet in each of these. We're not increasing, just a single crochet for eight rounds. I'm going to do a single crochet here, so here's number one, and we need to put a stitch marker in here. If you don't have a, uh, if you don't have a stitch marker, use a paper clip, a C clip, an S clip, whatever you like, doesn't matter. Pop that in here. So that was our first single crochet, like that. So that was in this one. So now we're in this one here. And again, I'm going to do, I'm going to put seven little bands out. Okay. So that was, that was our first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is number eight. So I'm going to start, I'm going to do number eight. And we'll do a round of single crochet. I'm back to the beginning again so I'll go through that first stitch grab from this little pile so I now know that I have six I'm going to take my stitch marker move that there and let's continue doing this round hitchhiker here that just tried to get in back to the beginning take one from this pile and move your stitch marker Back 
the beginning, take one from this pile. Back to the beginning from this pile. If you need to, let me move my stitch marker first. If you need to, just splay these open out a little bit. It helps you find where your stitches are. beginning the beginning we have my stitch marker another little hitchhiker My last one in yellow. Keep going round. this out so I can see what I'm doing again. Now, that's my last stitch in yellow. This next stitch is back at the beginning again. I need to do three in red. So I'm going to take one from this pile and I'm going to do a slip stitch so that I can have a nicer transition of the colours. And we will go a couple, three, well, three rounds actually, as I said, in red. So one, open Back through the beginning it's my stitch marker oops <laughs> there we go
the beginning again. This is my last round in red. Take my stitch marker out and put it there. That is my elbow on the desk, by the way, making that sound, crunching sound. Back to the beginning, and I will finish with a slip knot like that. Stretch it out. Now, typically, I do not um, stuff these. I, I think they they don't really need it. It's kind of a waste. But this arm is going to go under where we have the collar. Okay, so just going to sit under where we have the collar. How I'm going to do that is stretch this out so that these are even. This band that we have here we're actually going to go through the opposite side as well. So gently undo it, it's our slip stitch, like that. You don't want to lose it. Grab one end of it, go through the other side, the opposite side, and now do your slip stitch. You can do that tighter. Find the other side here, and again with a slip stitch. Oops, let's try that again. And the other side here. And you're kind of just guessing. You just want to get at least a couple of bands on either side. So I think there and possibly there. Maybe like that. Okay, so these are my three little loops that I have. I'm going to approximate where I want them, which is just under the collar. I'm going to push my hook through, grab and pull through. Push my hook through, grab and pull through. Push my hook through, grab and pull through. That's where I want his arm to attach. I'm going to turn it inside out. There are my three loops. Now, like I had said before, we can't really sew these together, they're too, they're too big. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tie them in a knot. It secures them. So the first two, I'll tie in a knot. Like this. And then I'm going to take the next, I'm going to add them together, put those two together. Take the third one over here and I'll tie that around these. like so and there we have our arm attached all right let's do the other the other arm and we'll attach that too i will catch you when we've done the other arm so for our next round we're going to do an entire round of single crochet so make sure your hook is in find your first stitch which for me is here and we will do single crochet all the way around. Now, a lot of people have said to me, how many stitches? Can you tell us how many stitches is in each round? Da, da, da. And no, <laughs> I, I don't count them. I'm very much a fly by the seat of my pants kind of girl. And um, thankfully, it seems that these little amigurumi, lumigurumi patterns that I'm doing are very forgiving so if you have, uh, I guess it's not as, as detailed as um, with yarn um, if you make a mistake it is actually quite forgiving so as long as you're doing the pattern that I've said which is in this case single crochet all the way around it's not actually going to matter terribly much if he's got an extra stitch in his belly or not or if he doesn't have an extra stitch I mean obviously if you do you know single crochet increase all the way around it's going to be a huge 
difference and that that is going to matter but as long as you're copying what I've said to do for the pattern I think you're going to be okay so um, no I don't actually count the stitches I um, I tell you what we do at the beginning of each round and uh, it's kind of a wing and a prayer Now, the only colour you're going to need from now on is going to be this neon orange. I hate winter. I'm always fighting a cold or a bug or something. It does get a bit weary. I hear it's been bitterly cold in England and uh, the British Isles. Okay, we're back at the beginning. I'm going to do a single crochet. and attach my stitch marker here. Now I'm going to do three single crochets and a decrease. That's going to be my pattern. Okay, so this is my first. We'll do a second single crochet, a third single crochet, now a decrease. So through the next stitch and through the stitch after it and we decrease these two together. Make sure they're even so that there's a good tension and now we do three single crochets again. One and then again Oops, make sure I don't lose that stitch. There we go, three single crochets. And a decrease. Oops, got two bands there. Let's try with one. One. Two. Three. And a decrease. Two, three, and a decrease. And we will finish on our single crochet. Move your stitch marker like 
so. Right, so beginning to come in now for his little body. Now we're going to do single crochet all the way around until we get to the last couple of stitches and we're going to do a decrease. So let's do that. Now I'm going to just zoom my camera lens out a bit because we're getting a bit big. Okay, now, if you have a look here, I've got two stitches here. They are going to be the two that I am going to do my decrease in. So, in through the first one, in through the second one, and we will do a decrease, like so, and then a single crochet. And then we will move our stitch marker to this new stitch. Like so. So that was our uh, first single crochet all the way around. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six more rows of exactly that single crochet all the way around with the last stitch, two stitches. So the last, um, like you're going to do these two as a decrease. So I'm saying the last two stitches you're going to do them together in a decrease. All right, so six more and I'll meet you back. So I'm back, I've done my, my rounds and I'm ready now to go to the next step. Next step is legs. We need a couple of these. I've made one, so let's do the other one together. You're gonna to use your loom, take a single and wrap it once and twice. I have a stitch marker ready. We're going to do five stitches through this. So dig your hook down and pull through. Budge it around. Now you're going to do two of these, so I'll show you how to make one and you make the other yourself. Get rid of your loom, you don't need that now. Stretch these around so that they're evenly spaced, okay? Push your hook through the first one, the first stitch here, and we're going to do a single crochet, like that, and you're going to put your stitch marker or whatever you're using as a stitch marker, could be a C-clip, S-clip, whatever you happen to be using at the moment. Now we're going to go back through that first stitch again and do another single crochet. This is an increase. We're going to follow that by a single crochet in the next stitch and then an increase and then a single crochet and an increase and that's going to be our pattern. 
So now we're doing our next increase. And then a single crochet. And then an increase. And then back to the beginning here, we're going to do a single crochet. And move your stitch marker onto that peg, well, stitch, peg, whatever. <laughs> All right, so we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches. Now we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten rounds of single crochet only. So you go through your next stitch. We already have a single crochet in this one. Through your next stitch. And we do a single crochet through the next stitch. And you do a single crochet through the next stitch. Single crochet. all the way around to the beginning, do your single crochet in that first stitch and move your stitch marker. So we now have nine more to do. Now my little trick is I get my little pile of nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Every time I start a new round I take that first band from here and that's how I work out how many rounds I have left. So there's my band from that little pile and then I take the rest of my bands from my normal container. So I will meet you back when you have two little legs and we're ready to attach them to Pooh Bear. So I'm back, hopefully you are too. I've got my two little legs here and my little body. I'm going to take my stitch marker and I'm just going to pop this up here a little bit so that it's attached on something a little higher to keep that out of the way because we're going to stuff this after we've put the legs on. So let's stuff our legs first and as you can see I've just tied off with a little slip knot here. Let's stuff our legs. You don't need much stuffing for the legs. So take a little bit of stuffing and I had somebody ask me if they could use cotton wool. Yes, cotton wool works. I've had some people use tissue, toilet paper, um, clean toilet paper. <laughs> um, somebody even used a, a, a grocery bag to do uh, theirs. Might be a bit scrunchy might make a bit of sound but um, it would work so you don't want to overstuff if you overstuff you will stretch out these stitches and you'll see the um, stuffing really easily so you don't want to do that okay so a little bit more stuffing for the other leg need a tiny bit more for this leg I've got a bit too much a bit too much tiny bit more <laughs> so here we go I try and get as much in as I can I hate seeing all the little stray bits of stuffing. So stuff those in like so. Now we have to position or work out where we want to position his legs. As you can see on this one I have them sort of in line with the arms but I have them facing upwards almost so it's sort of like this. 
okay and like this let's attach these so I'm going to say I'm going to squidge them out like this one here and one here because that's going to help him sit all right what I'm going to do is go through and put little anchor bands on all of these and anchor bands I just mean take a single band and tie a slip knot in each of these stitches so there should be eight I think I've got eight stitches on each of these so do a slip knot This is where our crochet friends have it over us. They can just take a needle and thread and quickly zip around and stitch it all in. And we have to faff around with bands, but that's okay. One day I'll have to teach myself how to, how to crochet with yarn. So these are going to be my little anchor bands. That one's come undone. I knew there was one I hadn't done very tight. I'm going to make sure that they're sort of on the outside so that when you position them, like Oh, one's come undone. Two have come undone. These are jelly bands and I find that they do come undone a lot easier than uh, than other bands. I'm trying to find where... Oh, there. No, that one would have been there. I won't worry about that too much. So I'm going to position this one sort of about here. I want it in line. Okay. So I'm going to go in here. Grab a bank, keep it on my hook. Keep that positioned. Find a spot to grab the next band. Pull it through. So I now have two on my hook. This one's come undone. But I'm going to go through a hole here. It has come undone. Let's see if I can fix that with my fingernails. I think so. There we go. Pull it through. I've still got three on my finger now. Now what I'm going to do is use a stitch marker on the inside to collect these bands with now. Now that I had enough of them there. So here's my next spot maybe here. That one's coming undone. Let's tighten it up. So let's see how I go with this one here and this one here and next to it will be this one here. So have I got those? I've got these on my hook. Let's try and add them. I just want to collect them all up, all that I can. So I have all of these and I can see quite clearly that I've already looped this one in here. So I'm going to get that back. So these are all my little loops that I've collected. On my hook, I should have eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do. I have eight of them. flip this over so that I can see what I'm working with easier. 
So I'm going to take the first one. If you pull it through a little bit and try not to lose these, if you pull it through a little bit, you can see I'm working with one at a time that there's the little knot here where we did where it became a uh, a slip knot. If you poke your hook through there, you're undoing the slip knot. So you want to just gently undo the slip knot. Have both ends on your hook. Now take the next one off. And you're going to again look for where that little slip knot became joined. Get both ends, put them on your hook. Now actually I think these are going the other way. So I'm going to just let go quickly of that first one here. This was actually our first one. So two and two. I'm going to take these two up and over those two. I'm going to the next one which is here. Have a look for where it became a little slip knot. There it is here. Undo that slip knot. Make sure I don't lose it. Put the two ends of the band on my hook and take those two up and over. The next one Now the reason I'm doing it like this is because it's a shorter distance if you have it in with in half. If you just have it like this, it, that's a long distance. You've got quite a a long piece of band to work with. Whereas if you halve it, you don't have so much, and the leg won't be so, um, or it won't. Be loose you don't want the leg to be loose up and over so you're sort of stitching around here it is a bit time-consuming that's where I've done the slip knot so undo my slip knot there's the other end of my band here up and over you can untwist them as you, when you're at it that's my next one put them in the wrong order doesn't matter because I can sort it out now okay let's find where I have the little slip knot here we go I'm looking for a little knot and it's a huge one one, two, both ends, up and over, and this is my last one, or for this side, anyway. Here it is. Put it through, up and over, I'm back to the beginning. I'm just going to go through where I did my first one which is here and with a single I'm going to join those together in a slip knot and pull tight so when I turn it over that's how it's stitched to his little body okay like that all right we're going to try and do the same on the other side and it, it's not going to be perfect but it's um you're going to try and marry it up as best you can. So let's put our little anchors in.
So we know that we went up one from here, which was about at this point here, like that, for the bottom. Get this out of the way. So I'm going to pull one through for the bottom here. Keep it on my hook. I'm going to go around and find the next one and go through a different spot to pull the next one through. Again, keep it on your hook or if you're finding that difficult, get a stitch marker, paper clip, C clips on either side. That's the other way you can do it. Um, if you're having trouble, let me get my C clips. This might be easier to show you as well. Get a couple of C clips. And all you do if you don't have a stitch marker, put a C clip on each band that you draw through. My nails are getting in the way. <laughs> Come on! This bear's going to be full of C clips if I'm not careful. So just put a C clip on each of the ones as you pull them through. Okay, make sure it's not twisted. My next one, probably going to go about here. I can see this one's come undone, so I'm just going to re oh no that one's good but this one has come undone so let's retie this one okay so this one is my next approximate where As you can see, I'm going around trying to find a little spot in a circle to pull this in so that it's even on the other side. This one is next. This one is our last one. And we obviously want it to be close to where our first one was. Okay, so now we're going to flip it inside out again. And it's trickier to do because we've got one that's already sort of done. So here we go. Right. Pull our little C clips. Oh, that wasn't very clever of me. Well, maybe we'll start with that one. And that one as well didn't have a C clip. That's come off. So I'm going to grab a C clip, put it on one of the ones that doesn't have one. I'll start with this one. There's my little. I've undone my little um, slip knot. I'm going to put both loops on my hook. Here's my second one that I have to move to. So I can see there's the little loop. Undo it. Probably helps if I take the C clip off first. <laughs> so I've undone my C clip one side, and here's the other before it disappears and the first one over the second one. Move it around. My next one in line is this one. And I can see there's my little loop here. 
undo it, take the C clip off, try and make it so that it's evenly spaced, and the first one over the second one. Going to this one next, I think. Take my C clip off. I want to pull it so I can see the other end. There's the loop. Undo the slip knot. One over the other. Here's my next one. There's the little knot. I want to take my C clip off. Got one side on. There's the other. One over the other. Here's my little knot. There we go. Take the C clip off. I have so many C clips. I'm so happy to learn that Rainbow Loom are doing this recycling now. Um, that'd be great because I can send them a bucket load of C clips to make into something else. And here's my last one here. I just pull one side and then you can see the other. One over the other. Get both loops on my hook. And the ones closest to me up and over. Go back through where we started. Grab a single band. Pull it through both of those loops. And tie off in a nice tight slip knot. Turn it over. Have we done all right? I think so. I think once we stuff him, he'll look a bit better, a little healthier. Let's do that, shall we? All right. Now, remember with this, we need to stuff all the way to the head. So take a little bit first and push all the way into his head area. Like so, the body. Izzy gave me strict instructions today. Make sure he's got a fat body, mummy. Now, remember what I said, you don't want to overstuff so that you stretch the stitches. The stitches will relax a little bit, um, but you don't want to overstuff so that they're all stretched out of shape and you can't see, or you can see the stuffing. You want to make sure that you understuff rather than overstuff. Okay, so let's have a look and see how we feel about this. I think maybe that's good. So what we're going to do now, move my stuffing out the way, give myself a bit of room. I'm going to do some decreases. I'm going to take my stitch marker and fill the stuffing in so that it's not on me. I'm going to take my little stitch marker out. And I'm going to just do decreases to finish this off. So I'm going to go through the first stitch and the second. Take a single band, slide it through, try and make it even. It's not even. Let's do that again. Let's try and make it a little bit even. Pull it through. There we go. That's better. And close down. So the next two, one and two. Pull it to make it even and close. The next one and two. That 
see if I'm zoomed all the way out for you. Wow, I am. Alright, next two. and you're just going to do this until that little hole gets smaller and smaller and we can do a slip knot to tie it off One more. Winnie the Pooh is break dancing on his head on my desk. <laughs> and now I'm just going to slip my stitch my hook through here, take a single, and tie in a slip knot nice and tight so it doesn't come undone. Go through his back here, grab that tie off stitch and pull back through and out and there we have our Winnie the Pooh now I will do his honey pot as a completely different little tutorial um, you can bend his arms any way you want. You can put um, little bands in just to hold them in place if you choose to. He's not really going to sit up. Well, he will if you sort of squidge him into shape a bit. But there you go. Here's Winnie the Pooh. And uh, I can do a little honey pot for him in another tutorial. I really hope you enjoy making him. Take care. Bye-bye.